Hi guys, welcome back to HowMachineWorks.com. Today we will be discussing on the topic Why one stroke of an engine is 180 degree. In your diploma classes or in your engineering classes when you learn about engines you might have learned about two stroke engines and four stroke engines and about the stroke length and the degree of the rotation. How much degree of rotation make a two stroke engine? How much degree of rotation makes a four stroke engine? So in this video we will discuss in detail about how it happens and what's the stroke and the stroke length. What's the full video and learn it. Yeah, so why one stroke is 180 degree? So here we have a fan engine. This is the internal side view of a three cylinder engine and here you can see the internal uh, front view of the same engine. Uh, two pistons have been separated. So you can see this is the crankshaft. This is how uh, it looks like. This is the design of the crankshaft. You may be knowing that. And these are the pistons. One piston is on the top. You can see the crankshaft is on the top right now. And the other one is has came down so you can see the crankshaft is also down it is connected with the connecting rod actually here so that's how internally it looks like when one stroke one of piston is on the top the other will be in the bottom so that's how it happens if you come into the front view you can see this is on the top and the top dead center the piston and this comes to the bottom so here so this is the stroke length when the piston moves on top dead center to bottom dead center and what makes a piston move from the top towards the bottom or how does this stroke happens it happens when the crankshaft rotates you can see towards here the connecting rod is fixed here and when the crankshaft make a full rotation it comes from top towards the bottom like this the same way and it can move upwards like from here towards here that is 180 degree of rotation is happening over here so that one stroke length it can travel from top to bottom it is a 180 degree of crankshaft rotation so it can be understood here this is the center point of the crankshaft so when it moves from here to here it is 180 degree of the rotation that's the full circle over here so when the crankshaft moves from here to here it is 90 degree and further 180 degree that is this is a full stroke length that is happening uh, over here this is a full stroke length one stroke length so if you take a two stroke engine will have 360 degree of crankshaft rotation to attain two strokes that means here to here 180 then the next stroke to go upwards another 180 so that makes it 360 degree and for a four stroke engine it is uh, 180 into 4 that is four strokes into one stroke 180 degree that is equal to 720 degree of crankshaft rotation the same way for a six stroke engine 6 into 180 that is equal to 10 a zero degree of crankshaft rotation. So that's how uh, the stroke length happens for the piston and how the crankshaft moves from top to bottom which result in one stroke of 180 degree of crankshaft rotation. So I believe you understand how this 180 degree is coming for a crankshaft rotation which makes one stroke for the engine. For more technical videos please click the subscribe button, do drop a comment or please click the like button to motivate our team. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.